Hi guys, welcome back after a long time. It's, it's been a quite long time since we uploaded the last video. We have uploaded our last video approximately 156 days ago or 3824 hours or we can even say 2,18,827 minutes ago. We know it's a quite long time but we are in a situation where we have to complete lots and lots of uncompleted tasks to be completed right now. Our recent project haven't shined as much we expected. These are the two main drawbacks we faced in recent times and we are now back with our tools. From today onwards we are going to upload two videos per week in each of our channel. That is Tamil Workshop and Creative Crackers Not Our Son with awesome content. Hope you will enjoy it. Let's get into the video. This is Creative Crackers Not Our Son where we can make projects and prototypes in real world and if you want to join us just hit the subscribe button and slap the bell icon from this moment onwards you, you are in contact with us whenever we are uploading a video you will be notified and you can watch it for free in this video we are going to see water tank level indicator with Arduino. without wasting further time let's get into the video and see how we can build it wait 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 a minute I have something, something important for you guys if you are like, searching for a neat coaching center or some kind of stuff like that there's a youtube channel and the link is given in the description just visit it at the end of a video oh. let's get started this is creative crackers talk about someone and i'm shiva Ultra's mixing saw is mainly used for detecting the object in front of it and we can able to calculate the distance between the object and the sensor accurately. It cannot penetrate through water which is an ideal reason for choosing the sensor. Now the next comes the Bluetooth hc 0 module which is used for establishing a communication between Arduino and our smartphone. And the finally Arduino Pro Mini the microcontroller which we are using in this project and we also need a uh, Arduino Uno just to upload the code. A simple 250 rupees keyword can done this job greatly. But I don't have one, so I am using a Arduino Uno. With the help of a following circuit diagram, I have completed the soldering work and I have used the header pins to make the work even easier and messy free. We can remove the components whenever we require for another project that's the specialty of the header pins just insert it and insert the hc 0 to the socket the ultrasonic sensor has to be placed inside the water tank so we are going to extend this range with the help of a wire and a socket you can directly solid a wire to these pins Is, this is the wire I have used to extend it. Just insert this female pin into the male socket. The remaining two pins are for battery. I am going to use my old Nokia phone battery for powering this project. With my rough calculations, I have calculated that my battery can be able to power this project for up to 8 hours and 15 minutes, which is pretty good. If the battery drains out, I have my external power source ready to feed it that means we have no problem in powering it in the description I have given a link to a page where you can find the source code of this project now let's break down the code in the monitor you can find two words trick pin and echo pin you can even find the same in the ultrasonic sensor module backside 
The echo pin is allotted for unlock 2 and trick pin is for unlock 3 in the Arduino Pro Mini. From the tools select from the tools select Arduino Arduino Pro Mini and now go, go back there and select the board as Arduino here now. Now we can upload the board. You have to connect the Pro Mini to Arduino the following diagram. If you are facing any kind of trouble, just google how to upload code to Pro Mini with Arduino Uno. Finally, we are going to stick a double sided tape on both the ultrasonic sensor and I have chosen a plastic box as a container for keeping all those stuffs. Just place all the circuit boards and battery inside it. Make sure it's tightly packed. It's time for us to fix it in the tank. Let's go. We have fixed the ultrasonic sensor inside our water tank. Now it's time to see how the Bluetooth module app works. Before that, just find a safe, safe place for this container. That's it, it's working perfectly. The link for this app is given in the description, you can download it for free. Here you can find the link for our YouTube channel. You can watch the more videos there too. Here we didn't find some HC0 pin. We didn't pad it. Click Bluetooth and more settings. First, we want to pad this HC0 pin module. Mostly, the password for this HC0 pin module is 4 times 0 or 1, 2, 3. But my password is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7. Once it is pad, Get back to our app. Now click the connect button. You can see the HC0 module has arrived. Click it and wait a, wait for a couple of seconds until the Arduino sensor, sensor gives us a data. 58% it's pretty accurate. And that's it friends, we have successfully created our project and if you want any other projects to be uploaded, just comment it down and say how our video is and if anything we can improve it in our next upcoming videos and don't forget to subscribe, thank you for watching, this is Pradeep Plagas.7 signing off.